this was the first global outdoor championship for you in Budapest. You won it with a championship record, 10.65. I can see that it's a good start, isn't it? Um, I would definitely say it's a good start from the beginning of my journey, as me and my coaches discussed. I'm honored, I'm blessed. Had great competition, pulled out the best uh, in myself, and just honored to leave with the with the gold medal. Yeah, and uh, previous interviews you mentioned that I'm not back, I'm better. Now you can see I'm not back, I'm the best. No, I'm gonna stay humble. I'm not back, I'm better, and I'm continue to be better. It's very good. Oh. Sharika, uh, one month ago, a little bit more than one month ago, in Kingston, you just won a pretty good race with the exact same time, ten sixty-five. <laughs> What was the difference? What do you think between the two races today? And that it was just a little bit. Um, I definitely have to go back and look on um, tonight's race. As I said, I think I executed as best as possible. Coach and I would have to discuss what I did. I can't tell you what I did different from what I did in Jamaica. But as I said, um, the race is over. I have, I'll just have to go back and look at that. Okay, thank you. So, Shaggy, uh, before I ask you. <laughs> I just would like to take a moment and uh, share the information. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting next to 14 World Championship titles all together with the three ladies. It's oh, amazing. Great. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I just watched the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie a couple of uh, hours ago. It's called Stay Hungry. And uh, it was about, uh, you know, how can you be mentally ready to always motivate yourself after so many success? So what is your motivation? How can you find your inside strength to compete over and over after so many success? Um, I guess first I want to say congrats to Shakari and Sharika. It was really a fantastic race. I said to her earlier that last year I rounded the 100 in the championship record and it took a championship record tonight. So that's really remarkable. And for me, I think it's knowing that I can do more. That's really what keeps me grounded and you know, continuing to work and to chase after medals and gold medals and running fast. And for me, it wasn't the year that I wanted in terms of you know, starting and injuries, but I think champions show up no matter what, you know, and get to the line and just prove to yourself that sometimes it's not how it seems, you don't have to always know the answer, you just have to come and fight, and tonight I'm really grateful that I'm walking away with a bronze medal. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question is yours. The first show. Tell your name, sir, and the media, please, first. Noel Francis, sharpeners.com. I have two questions, one for sure. One, just one question. Yeah. Okay, Sharika. <laughs> yeah. uh, not the medal that you wanted, um, consecutive silver medals. Uh, could you describe the feeling between the last year and now? Um, <laughs> um, firstly, I get a medal, so I'm grateful. Um, for me personally, I think, as I said, I haven't watched the race. I have to go back to watch the race. I don't know the difference between last year and this year. I got a little faster, as I said, um, a couple of days ago. I just wanted to put together a, a good 100. I think um, tonight I did pretty good, not as I wanted to, but I still walk away with a medal, so I'm grateful. So? Thanks, um, Shakari. Please, your name. And uh, name my name's Eddie Pels, I'm from the AP. You've got a lot of um, fans out there who have kind of lived and died with you over the last couple of years. And what, what's your what's the thing they should get out of watching you succeed like this? I would say never give up. Never allow media, never allow outsiders, never allow anything but yourself and your faith to define who you are. I would say always fight, no matter what, fight. Yeah. How hard was it to do that? No, sorry, one question. <laughs> oh, no, it's a microphone. Okay. Okay. Me? Yeah. Oh, lovely. My name is Lois from the Inside Lane, my own platform, Black Athletes. Yeah. Um, my question is for you, Shakari, because I think your journey and your turnaround has taught even me, a big adult, um, about compassion, empathy, and allowing people to grow. Because um, I think when we get older, we forget that we also made mistakes when we were younger. So, talk to me about 
the journey from then to now and um, the importance of the message that you're putting out right now? Um, I would say this journey for me, from since I first, I guess, came on the professional level to now, is just knowing that no matter what happened, you never lose sight of yourself, never lose sight of your faith. Always remember why you started. Always remember your purpose and always keep going. You're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, you're going to have better days, you're going to have worse days. But you live to see tomorrow. Every day the sun don't shine, but that's why I love tomorrow. That's it. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Come on, go over and look at it. Mike Fitch from Runners World Magazine. Right in front of you, yeah. Tell us about your mindset in such a competitive race before the finals day. You didn't have such a great time in the semi-finals. Um, were you nervous? And just tell us what your mindset was in the last couple of minutes before you started the, the final. Um, well, thank you for mentioning that I didn't have a great time. I think that was already obvious. But I would say going into the finals, just knowing that Qualifying, surviving each round, getting into the final round, knowing that all the heavy hitters are going to bring their best A game. So it helped me pull out my best A game for myself as well. Sitting next to Liberty Legends, it, it feels remarkable. I just I just knew in my mindset I had to, I had to come with it because they're going to come with it. So I was prepared and I'm grateful. Uh, before the next question, I would like to find out all the journalists, please just mute your mobile phone. Please respect the efforts. Thank you very much. Question, Anderson I'm World of Final Leg here. So question for Shakiri. Just talk about the support system you have between your coach, your family, your training um, mates and all that. Like, what's the support that you know has helped you to get here? Um, I would say the support that I have from my coach, to my family, to supporters, <laughs> to haters. I would really say all of that motivation has brought me to this moment. It helped me prevail, it helped me overcome, and it helped, it helped me get through. So without them, Without my big mama, without my babies, without my family, I would be I wouldn't be here. So I'm grateful to have that support and continue to have that support as I go forward. Thank you for everything. Hi, uh, my name is Fentu. I'm I'm from uh, Ghana, Africa. My question is to uh, Shirley. I was in a mixed zone when your good friend um, Mary Jose Tali went by. And she was crying physically. It's the third consecutive championships without a medal for her and she's been running consistently for such a long time what words of encouragement do you have for her in terms of the journey she's had up to this point it's tough i think it's really tough and we were talking about it outside that you know we have been in finals with marie for such a long time and as much as you want to win and as much as you're happy to walk away with your, your medal because that's why you train, that's why you're here. You know, nobody shows up at the line <laughs> saying, oh, I want to come fifth, you know. <laughs> but for me, you know, it really hurt because I know she's my friend. You know, I know they work and to be consistently denied of a medal is hard and it's heartbreaking. And I really hope that she continues to fight, and I really hope her moment comes. She's an amazing athlete. Yeah. I don't care what medal she did or didn't get. She's an amazing athlete, and she's a phenomenal person. So no medal position defines her. Remember that. Okay, Ken Hutchison, um, I work for City Square. This one is for Shakira. But before I ask you a question, I feel like people have been drilling you with questions. So for a quick second, I want to be able to speak some life into you. I just want you to know that I'm so proud of you. I know I'm not really nobody to you, so it probably doesn't mean too much. But I'm just so proud of the way that you have handled yourself, the way you've grown over the years from LSU to now to be able to finally come out with a World Championship medal. Where everybody has literally doubted you on social media because I know they can get real ruthless for all your competition that didn't believe in you for the moments that you probably we didn't even believe in yourself. I'm just glad that you finally came out here and do what you were destined to do because, girl, I truly believe you are anointed by God because you have been through so much. But here you go on time, and it was your time. And he said it was your time. So I'm so happy for you. But to ask the question for the child, I said, Mike, out my hand. Um, you have done so much for this sport, and I can easily see you transcending past track and field because you, your speed impacts a lot of people, but your personality and what you do and the life that you speak in to other people, I feel like it's going to go way much further um, than your speed, you know, in terms of like thinking about God and your destiny and stuff like that. So I just want to know for you, in what ways do you want to 
to um, continue to transcend the sport and have an impact outside of, you know, just being fast and being a world champion? Um, I want to say you as a black woman sitting here in this room, I appreciate you answering me the question and anointing, give me that, that loving right there, represent for us as always. But I will say, honestly, I don't even know what to say. It's still, it's still it's surreal. I think in the morning I'll probably feel it. But it feels amazing just knowing that not only people see me as an athlete, but they see me as a person. I feel like that's my biggest thing more than anything. I want people to see that it goes beyond an athlete. You bring who you are onto the track. You bring your athlete into your life. There, there, there is no separate, honestly. So I'm glad that I can display who I really am. Not, not my pain, not my... Ugh, not my sadness. I'll be glad to sit here and be happy with whole and just knowing that it all paid off. God got you. Always. Two more questions. Question for Shakari Ronendo of Venezuela today. The, the woman to your left is on her 10th podium of uh, 100 meters only, the third other thing. What do you think are the qualities that, that make this mind boggling achievement? In Shelly, I mean. Uh, my name is Shakari. First of all, it's Shakari. No. Uh, I'm telling you that though. But um, I don't really understand your question, but I think you asked me about me, Shelly. And I just want to say, she's an amazing athlete. I literally, I grew up watching her, knowing that. <laughs> 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 Knowing that she's been doing this and can continue to poke it on the podium every single time shows me that I have a journey. I have something to do. I have more to do. Like she said, what makes this sport or what makes it so fun or interesting is the fact that you can always do more. There's always so much more that you can pull out of yourself and become better. So, yeah. <laughs> Last question, sir. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Gold here from Let's Run.com. Question for Shakari. Last year, your 2023 season was pretty rough. You didn't even make the semifinals of the U.S. Championships. Now you're the world champion. I'm wondering what differences did you make either on or off the track that allowed you to be so consistent and become the world champ this year? Well, obviously I didn't make the team last year. I don't think you have to say that. But the fact that I'm sitting here now and I am a world champion, it just, the difference between now and then is just, like I said, I've been in hold with myself. Um, I've been able to, like I said, stay in my faith, stay grounded. The people around me knowing to keep who is around me, who genuinely cares for me and who doesn't, and just staying dedicated and focused, blocking out the noise, blocking out media like yourself, and just continuing to go forward. I feel great. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Congratulations for two days. Good night.